and today we're here with Paul the Headhunter Gonzalo. How are you doing today? Good, good, doing really good. You pronounced that really good. Good, good. Okay, so um, when Affliction folded, you signed with UFC. And yep. are you excited to be back with the UFC? Definitely excited to be back with the UFC. The thing is, uh, when Affliction went under, the UFC absorbed some contracts, and they're one of the contracts they wanted was mine. And uh, as soon as I had the chance, I got the phone call that the UFC mm -hmm. wanted me back. I jumped all over it. Okay, great. Um, so, originally with Strike Force, um, it seems like you maybe left a little bit on uh, bad terms. What were some of the reasons why you had left Strike Force? It's, it's not the bad terms. Is that people okay. look at it? It's not the you know it could, you could say that way or that way. But what yeah. it was was that I need more. I need to fight more. And the thing is, I went back to the UFC. They've been around for so long. It's mm -hmm. more. How would you? What's the word they use? Is it's I, I got I know I'm gonna fight more. I know they put more shows on. It's right. The show they put on. It's just more more guaranteed that I'm gonna fight more. The Strike Force they have too many fighters coming in. It's gonna bottleneck. So what that is that if they don't if they have too many fighters, they're only gonna put on certain many fights. Okay. And with the UFC, I have to stay busier. Okay. And the next fight is gonna be with UFC 107 and Steven Struve. Yeah, Steven Struve, which is six foot eleven. That's what I was gonna say. So his advantage with many of his opponents is his height, and it's, then with his height and his reach. Are well, you it's about more. That? It's more about his uh, his length on the ground. He's so long, so I don't uh -huh. want to go to the ground with him at all. I want to stand up and bang, and just do the things mm -hmm. I do always. Just go for the knockouts. And uh, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about his height. I just got. To, if I go to the ground with him, I have to get back up. Okay. And who you've been training and sparring with? You know, this just training camp's been kind of difficult because. I had some issues that I have with AK with the management. I switched over management, mm -hmm. so I had to go to North Cal. And those guys over there at the community center, and then I still got my personal trainer. Mm -hmm. Had to bring in some guys from Sacramento just to uh, just train. I mean, mm -hmm. the whole thing is is that this training camp is a little different because usually I can spread out five or six workouts right. for, for eight hours, but now I'm doing three to four workouts within four or five hours with no rest. So it's been hard, but training camp's been good. Good, good. Have you had anyone to imitate his height? No, I mean, there's no, there's nobody <laughs> running. I was, you know, I was, I was almost going to call uh, Dan Christensen, which uh -huh. is 6'9", six, 6'9", nine, six, nine, almost 6'10". I was going to call him in, but he works. He, he's a police officer, so he can't can just take the time off to come right. to train. So I couldn't just let him, hey, I need some help. So it was kind of weird. I was supposed to fight Todd Duffy at first. That's and, what I was going to ask about. Yeah, yeah, I was supposed to fight Todd Duffy at first, and he got hurt or something. They threw in this guy, so it totally changed up. My opponent and how to train against a guy at six foot eleven. Right. So were you disappointed when you weren't because of his injury that you're not? No, I, no, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I'm disappointed. It was more, you know, I was just starting my training camp to right. be ready for Todd Duffy, and then it, it, it just changed. So it just swift gears and just kept on going. Okay. So for 2008, you had um, one fight. One for fight. 2009, this is gonna be your second fight. It's gonna be for, yeah, second fight. Second yes. fight. Okay. Yes. So the, the July, January 24th was my was my last fight with Affliction, and then now. December 12th is uh, my second fight. Okay. Um, so do you think for 2010 you'll be more active fighting a lot more? Exactly. And that's the whole thing I took. Okay. I shift over to the UFC is I'll be more active and more guarantees that I'm going to fight. So maybe next year I fight three to four times. Okay. So how long do you think um, Steve will stand before he tries to get you down? Well, fight? that's the thing about Steven Struve. He doesn't have any takedowns. Everybody that he's fought has always took him down. Uh -huh. And I'm not going to take him down. So I think the fight's going to stand up as much as, as, much as I let it to. And okay. That's, that's all the four to is that I'm like, he's a, I don't think he has the skill. I shouldn't say that. I don't think he has the, the height yeah. to take me down. I think okay. he's too tall to take me down.